Uh, I got hey, a little scared. I got God. a little scared this morning. Uh, <laughs> I got. Uh, don't feel like watching movies, so I'll watch people guess them instead. I don't know how it goes. I think it starts with your uh, uh, I just didn't sleep very well at all last night, and then the I woke up to the sound of like uh, it sounded like aliens were attacking, and and but it turns out it's just like a fucking wind. Oh, I've, I've been hearing about this. There's a is high it, wind warning. Was it not windy at all in Burbank? Is it not windy right now at all? Let, let me check. For Let's me, it's not. Here. Please check. Take, let me get, take a peek. Let me give you a look, Steve. Joe, Please Joe, check, take a just peek. Just to be safe. Oh, oh. Is that a door? He has a no, door there? No wind. Not even a little bit? No. Yeah, mine's not, not even. The leaves aren't even. It was scary. Frozen. It was shaking my windows and shit. And I was like, this is bonkers. This was like 5 a.m. Oh. I love the wind. I love going and walking in the wind. Driving in the wind is kind of scary when it actually moves your car lane to lane. <laughs> yeah, like, it's actual like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, oh, all right, God, yeah, I see this you. Is a wind. I, I see you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, re I prefer rain um, of all the weather patterns we get here. Steve preferably likes the rain. But yeah. the wow. wind is like... The wind creeps me out because it's like wind knocks over like telephone poles and yeah, and, you're not uh, wrong. And trees and and uh, and blows people's furniture. Like you ever see people's like uh, uh, they're like shade umbrellas. What do you call those umbrellas yeah. that aren't really for the rain? They're more for right. the shade. Shade. Mm -hmm. It's still an umbrella. Shade but umbrella. I... Shade. If umbrella. you're holding on to it too tight, it might take you for a little ride. <laughs> a little. Yeah. I wish. But there's a you see those things blown around because they they come out of the they come out of people's backyards. It's so windy. Mm -hmm. An umbrella tumbler, a tumbling um, umbrella, an um tumbler. <laughs> that was my favorite cat from Cats. I'm um tumbler. <laughs> uh, in most human populations, there are cultural and biological mechanisms in place to prevent widespread inbreeding. While oh, some degree okay. of distant relatedness can be found in all human populations due to common ancestry, the vast majority of people are not considered inbred. You should probably give context to why you wrote, just read that out of the blue. <laughs> <laughs> well, before the show, we were talking about inbreeding. The concept oh. of – oh, I've got an interesting fact about that as well. Not a fact. About inbreeding? But a theory. So oh. we were, So we were talking about uh, how, how colonies back <laughs> in the day may or may not have uh, uh, avoided inbreeding by bringing outsiders into the colony or the group or the community and letting them uh, have a little bit of fun. Whether or not that's mm -hmm. true or urban legend, I'm not going to put my finger on. However, uh, my daughter right now is in that, that realm of uh, teenage angst where yeah. everything I do is – it's not cool in her eyes, and she makes you're me wrong. feel like a real bad person sometimes. Like you're being cringe, and you're being unwoke and shit like that? No, no, being just like any, she's just, you guys were there at some point where everything that comes out of your parents' mouth is either wrong or annoying or makes annoying. you angry. Like, it, it could be like, the I could say the grass is green, and she would... <laughs> automatically go no it isn't you idiot but then like a neighbor could say the same thing and she'd be like that is wow thank you for that sage yeah knowledge. yeah 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 right? yeah so we're at that stage in life and it's really you know uh it's it's a hard stage it's annoying. As, a, as a parent that they don't really it's hard to prepare anybody for it because you go from like you need me for sustenance and because of that you love me no matter what and i can't do any wrong and then it just switches and it's very hard for yeah. some people but then I think like you know how Instagram just hears you and just starts yeah. feeding you not just <laughs> oh, yeah. ads but certain type of content and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Instagram must have heard me lamenting one day uh very loud and then I, I all of a sudden I get this reel of some like ch philosopher or child psychiatrist or something and he's having this casual conversation about teenagers and why they act like that. He says mm. it's a very innate subconscious biological response to what we're talking about, Steve. Wherein, back in the day, we had a bunch of, like, small tribes or colonies of people, and to avoid inbreeding on a biological level, 
teenagers at some point that that switch flips and they're like i don't like you i don't want anything to do with you and i'm going to leave whoa the it's like a biological thing i'm what? gonna leave the colony and go spread seeds somewhere Elsewhere. else because whoa. to avoid spreading seed within the colony itself and a, a continued possibility of inbreeding so it was to spread the biological dna uh in more positive ways that's so crazy, man. It's crazy I've that we've never we're... heard that before. That's it, insane. Is that super true? Is that like proven to be true or that's a theory? The guy said it with enough confidence that I'm telling <laughs> you about it. Because <laughs> it does, because we do have like a lot of biological things built into us that are meant for survival and mm -hmm. the, uh, the, uh, the continued proliferation of the human experience yeah there's right. like biological stuff programmed in us for that like you know when you see uh like um a, you know when you see a danger everyone's yeah. like we must get away from high that voltage high yeah voltage. we must get Do away from enter. that mm -hmm. the fight or flight response to seeing a bush uh, a bush shake, and we're the talking middle, about the, the fight. We're talking about the fight or flight response of seeing your dad's bush shake. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. A lot of us have seen that. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, I am re I'm looking at this thing here that says. Uh, I mean, it's a really long read. Um. About the same topic, but the to but the the article says inbreeding shaped the course of human evolution, which is which. Uh, well, that's kind of what we were talking about. We were saying like, did we all come? It had to start from inbreeding, didn't it? And then we started to question that. It says genetically, we can narrow our ancestors down to a few ancestors that the johnsons mean... we call them the johnsons that's right we are related very closely to the johnsons as a species <laughs> <laughs> it says that doesn't mean these ancestors were alive at the same time and only bred with each other our genetic adam may have lived hundreds of generations before or after our genetic eve uh, the, uh, there were what are called genetic bottlenecks that happened to humans, but even then there were thousands of breeding pairs. And even if there was a lot of inbreeding though, there are two things which would prevent us from being all inbred. One mutations still happen over the course of thousands of years. We're all Ninja Turtles. <laughs> introducing genetic diversity into the gene pool to make us sufficiently different so the risks of inbreeding decreases and two the risk of defects from inbreeding are just that a risk the more closely related you are the higher the risk but it is still possible to produce children who aren't inbred First cousins have a much higher risk of birth defects than distantly so, related cousins, yeah. but that risk is only four to seven percent. So this, so I can, I can bang my cousin. It sounds that's like it. you have a higher. Is that what this, that's right. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, thank you guys uh, for listening. Uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> oh no! Go to his cousin's house. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Hang on, like I gotta make a call really quick. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah, it's okay. It's, Steve. It's, it's okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I swear. The internet said it. <laughs> uh, at, the, at the risk of potentially throwing out uneducated uh, theories, do you think maybe also the the Im, the possibility of of inbreeding and producing? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, an inbred specimen do you think the society of your probably just gave up real quick on those situations and just tried again you're saying like they... like even if they even if there were two people that created an inbred child mm -hmm. 
you're saying they're like, whoa, there's something wrong with this kid. You think they still kept trying to keep having kids? Is well, that what, what I mean is they probably like discarded that that portion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like Uh-oh. from the pool. So like, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Ugh. Or they were like, <laughs> they were having a conversation, and they were like, well, should we wait and see if he can like sweep up? Oh no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Come no. on, this is early humans. <laughs> This is early humans we're talking Steve, about. They here. did not have brooms. These are... <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have floors to sweep no, no, back no. then. Floors <laughs> weren't invented. Floors were not invented until 1953. <laughs> what are we walking on here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. When were floors invented? Because <laughs> you got to think. Hey, like... Chad GPT. <laughs> We were on grass and dirt and rock for a long time. Dave, do me a favor and ask ChatGPT when floors were. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay. Might take a second, though. Hang on, because I got to log into it. Calculating. Calculating. Calculate. Okay, here we go. We're in. We're in. We're in, boys. The world is ours. Message chat. I could ask my voice. My Here voice chat GPT too. New chat. I could do this, and it would be when special. were floors invented? The concept of using elevated surfaces as floors has been around as long uh, around for a long time, and is difficult to pinpoint <laughs> to a specific date. I love that it like there's no <sighs> stupid questions. No, it treats you. <laughs> It doesn't like laugh at you or no. tell you you're an idiot. <laughs> this like, is well? like this is like that one really good teacher who like yeah. when you were a kid you were like, teacher, if I eat my boogles every day, would that kill me? Billy said it would kill me. Well, well, let's ask let's ask ChatGPT that same question. Let's see what happens. If I eat boogers that, every day. Will it kill me? That teacher's name was Chad GPT. Uh, Chad Greg Peter Thompson. Uh, Ch- Chad GPT is is like your frat boy like version we, of Chad. Dude, GPT. we we yeah. were talking about this on Dynamic Banter, and I was like. There just needs to be a Chad GPT that will like that bully you for amazing. asking questions yeah. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> we're, when were floors invented? Shut up, you idiot! Uh. <laughs> anyway, it says it's difficult to pinpoint a specific date when the concept of elevated services <laughs> spin around. <laughs> and it says in ancient times, people would use materials like packed earth. So earth, stone, (laughs) or wood to create raised surface for walking or living spaces. The development of more advanced flooring materials and techniques evolved over centuries. Okay. Oh, that's a non-answer chat, GPT. It keeps going. It keeps going. There's more. Okay. God, for example, this long. Ancient Egyptians used a type of mortar made from gypsum and lime. Mm. To create a smooth surface for their floors. Gypsum. In, an, in ancient Rome, gypsum. That, now I understand the lyric. Walk on some Egypt, son. I guess. <laughs> yes. Walk all around. Walk around Egyptian. on some gypsum. <laughs> uh, as time progressed, various cultures and civilizations developed different methods and materials for creating floors. Bunny, 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 bunny. I see Whoa. a bunny. I see a bunny. I see a bunny. I see a bunny. What's yeah, that like boy perching on, on there? He's yeah, what is perching that? on a little basket thing. I don't know why he's doing that. Though. Is he scared of you still? <laughs> no. Do the bunnies love you? Yes, dude. You ask this every time. Yeah, but this what is you, now we're deep into you're denying your, my. We're deep into your ownership. I'm denying. The only thing I'm denying is what kind of relationship humans and rabbits have. It depends the on the personality of the bunny, my boy. I just want to know if a bunny will hop up and jump in your lap for some loves. That's yeah, all some will. Some will. Mine but will these not. Don't. Ah, dang it. Do you think I it know. will happen? Or Eat them. Too late. It would have happened. I think it would have happened by now. 
I think they Ooh, would have asked for more. What's the love. closest to that happening that has happened? They will, uh, like, I'll be sitting on the couch and they'll come run up and like lay down next to my feet, and then I'll like start petting them, and then they'll like want more pets. Wow. So, like, that's, okay. That's the most it's gotten to, and I think that's probably because that doesn't happen often. That's a rare thing. Is that a recent development, or did that happen from the start? Yeah, probably like the past couple months. Wow. So maybe, you know, in two you, years. Yeah, you might be, you might, because I, you know, like, I, I really love an affectionate pet. I know. I, I, I'm the same way, man. You know, I, I yeah. agree, which is why I'm not a huge fan of the fucking three lizards that live in my apartment now. <laughs> they don't <laughs> love you, you They don't love. They don't love back. I've around. never... I don't get the wanting a pet snake. I never have gotten it. Well, lizards and snakes <laughs> are very like kid, kid creatures to have. And then, unless you you know, I've I've gone to the reptile shops now. There are yeah. some very very odd adults, my friend. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, definitely. But it starts as like a kid. I feel like you're a kid and you're they're like, just, I want a little lizard as a bo as a friend. They're just easy to take care of and like you get to say you have a pet, like they're so low maintenance. However, yeah. that made me think of a question that I I want to propose to the two of you. Okay. <gasps> so the world of Instagram and pets. So I agree. I'm a I'm a I don't want a chore. I want an affectionate little bundle of joy that likes me too, or at least makes me feel like it acknowledges me, it not needs like these me. damn lizards. Yes. Not like these soulless lizards with their cool eyes that don't see me as a person. Um <laughs> they don't even know what to do. They don't is. even know what they're they don't even know what they're doing. They're operating on a biological like uh, uh, auto automation. Mm-hmm. So question, what, because of Instagram and all these accounts of like people that have a, kind of more exotic animals that you're not supposed to have, right? but, they, but they're kind of wish fulfillment for you, what are your top three animals you would love to have as a pet that are not supposed to be necessarily a pet? I'll start. Oh. No, I'll start. Oh. Number three, this is the most exotic one, and this is a pretty big no-no, and I don't think it is as lovable as maybe that I would want at times, a sugar glider. Dude, yeah. I don't think I could picture You're going to have to. I need a pick. There, okay, here, I'll <laughs> Let me pull look. it up. I right can now. look it up. Chat GPT. <laughs> Wait, is it like a. Is it what like does a, a sugar thing? glider look like? <laughs> Let me just type it in. I got does, it. Does Chat GPT give you. Oh, one of these little guys. Yeah. So, kind of fun, kind of adorable. Yeah, they're yep. cute. Adorable, but I don't, still don't know if it's giving you quite the love. Maybe a little bit. Uh, they and, stretch and, out their little arms, and they have like yeah. Mm -hmm. And a tie is less exotic for third. I'm breaking the rules already, but a cow. Have you oh, seen? Oh, that's fun, dude. How much cows a, can like cow, love you? A, affectionate man, super yeah. affectionate. It's just a little bit too. I don't have a farm. Yeah. <laughs> Have you yeah. seen those little well, guys, those little cows? Yeah. yeah. Adorable, They're right? They're so cute. The 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 poop maintenance is a little rough and sure. little, they can smell and the maintenance but... in general is rough cuz so, you got to like brush them all the time and you so got that, that's yeah. like an outlier answer. My number 2 answer? A freaking squirrel. I want to <laughs> I I want dude I've Dude. seen it. I've seen yeah. it. Yeah, and they fucking they will love back a little bit. Yeah, you have, to get, you have to get them when they're like a baby that fell out of the nest. They're they're one hundred percent going to always live their instinct. And even if you raise them as a human, you could bring them outside one day and be like, "Go live," and they will. But when they, they see you, they'll still come up to you and jump on you and be like, "What is up? it? Is it legal to take a squirrel <laughs> and like keep it?" I don't know <laughs> if it's illegal. <laughs> well. <laughs> You know, and also like, like raccoons. 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 That's my number one answer is a raccoon, dude. Raccoons, dude. Raccoons, like. Raccoons are just cool. They're well, so cool. Well, it's interesting because when I they was. Got human hands. Yeah. When I was a young boy, <laughs> they were. Raccoons were seen as like disgusting, disease carrying uh, trash monsters that you should I stay away too, from they'll bite they you and you'll get rabies and you they'll, they'll they're evil and they are not domestic they're not domesticated 
creatures. They're creatures of wild, and you shouldn't. Also, they eat garbage. You shouldn't. You shouldn't like have a thing that eats garbage. As we're so shoving remember, talkies yeah. into our mouths. I know, right? I know. <laughs> KFC. And I remember thinking, like, okay, well, that's the way of thinking then. And then in cartoons and movies, they're always just kind of portrayed as these like trash eating varmints, yeah. like ro- rodents. Varmints. But good word. now Love it. we live in a time where they're like you're you'll be looking on tiktok or the, somewhere on the internet and people are like they're like little children they're like children yeah, yeah. They're like more like children than dogs yeah dude <laughs> and they're and just they're chill smart. little dudes they're just and they're just like these <laughs> fat little muffins that are just like there's a like, video there's like a youtube channel of a guy who has there's a, one video specifically where he he goes out into his patio. He sits in a chair. He has this giant bucket of hot dogs. Have you <laughs> yeah. seen this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he pulls Is that out that and older it's like, guy? Yeah. Yeah, and it's like 30 or 40 raccoons that just swarm him and he just it's slowly passes them out. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> but they look so sweet and so cuddly and they just like curl up on you and they like love you and they put their little hand on you and they're like, I love you, daddy. Yep. Yep. And then they you give them little little things mm-hmm. and they put them in their little hands and they go Yeah, the and way you're they like, "Oh, you <laughs> cute little shit." <laughs> See, I'm telling you, that's why it's my number 1. Yeah. Number 1. I my, my What's dream your, So wait, hold on. Clarification okay. mm-hmm. with this. Mm-hmm. Is this like let's say it's not an option for me, but if there I wanted a pet bear, does that mean like it's not going to just randomly attack me? Uh, no. no, no. The situation isn't necessarily going to be perfect. I don't think there, you still have okay. to deal with the, the wild <laughs> instincts. Yeah, it's like okay. we were talking about how with your bunnies, like some of them are real cute and cuddly, and others are. All right, I got mine then. Hands off, okay. Steve. Okay. okay, okay. Um, well, mine's very similar to Joe's. I mean, I want a raccoon real bad. Who doesn't? <laughs> a lot of people. It turns out. <laughs> A lot of wrong well, people. I think the people that don't don't understand. They don't understand. I don't think they they just don't understand. They don't understand that these are like wonderful little bo- boys and girls that'll love you. Mm-hmm. And they're not just gross fucks. Uh, don't fuck I, it. Please don't fuck it. Don't do I've that. always wanted. Uh, <laughs> I've always. I love the idea of um, a little pet, like a. a lot. A, a little elephant, like a little pygmy yeah. elephant or something. And also, like, we'll be all lovey. I we'll know, because they're so you. smart, and they yeah. and they remember you, and they they they're just very intelligent creatures. And they and you know, if it if there was such a thing as a pygmy elephant that didn't get real big, without like painful genetic alterations. And it just kind of naturally happened or was like, uh, you know, easy to do and didn't mess up their DNA or whatever. Then there wouldn't be the like chance of it, like strangling you in your sleep or ripping your face off like a chimpanzee can. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or crushing you <laughs> just like lays down on you. Bunk. Yeah, it concerns <laughs> me that like because, you know, a baby bear is also one of those things where like. And I've seen like, and these are really crazy. There, there's this like Russian uh, social media account where they like the live with, the with bears. They live oh. with bears. Yeah. Bears. And they're in the snow, and the bear is just like sitting there, like a friend, like eating watermelon, and they're like feeding it to it, and then it puts its like big old paw arm around the guy, <laughs> and then the guy just starts like fluffing through its beards and like, oh yeah, and it's like, ah. Oh. And and you're like, damn, dude, I want to do that so bad. I want <laughs> right. to cuddle a bear. I want to scritch a bear and hug it so bad. But dude, those things will <laughs> fucking just my my yeah my snap. bear fear is still a little too thick. I see those videos yeah. and I'm like, that's cool, but oh my god, what happens when we see the one video where that bear flips? Like yeah. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. It's like you know, and and people talk about it these days, saying if why are you why why are you friend shaped if you can't be my friend, you know? And like bears, <laughs> I've never are, heard that. That's very <laughs> that's amazing. 
it, it's it, maybe it's a Reddit thing or something. But they, but, but you are the shape of a friend. Why can't I be your friend? Uh, that's so funny. It's uh, it is isn't it frustrating that like you know that must be another biological thing like what we were talking about with the with the you know biological need to to go outside of your tribe to like you know yeah the inbreeding and all that. Why but are other- you sex shaped if you don't want me to sex? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's another funny thing, sure. But yeah, with bears and like lion, like you know, you see like lions or like uh, big cats, like yeah, acting like little cats. You know? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. We just had an addition to the Valley Elliot cast and Grace. And Grace. If if it's not Elliot and Grace, I'm leaving. Just kick him. Can't you kick him? We can kick him. It's, we can kick yeah. him. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, yes, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't... Hi, buddy. Are you Elliot's, okay? Elliot's got his funhouse mirror filter on. <laughs> yeah. Are you okay, Elliot? Are you okay? <laughs> Do you just want to listen? You can just listen. <laughs> That's okay. You know what I was going to do right now, Elliot? I was going to type in the chat GPT. Why are bear why are bears so cute? Like bears being cute makes us want to be their friend. I saw Haven't bear. Look this up. I saw Have a bear. We? Have we Wait, Elliot, you saw a bear? Hold on, he said he saw a bear. I'll send photos. Bye, everybody. You saw a bear recently? Multiple. I'll show you. Show us. What? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we maybe... literally left. That's great. <laughs> In well, some... we, I think, okay, I think we well, looked think up we... why something is cute. I yeah, remember. why does cute, why, yeah, is cuteness like a defense mechanism or yeah. something? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. It, yeah, everything, everything probably millions and millions of years uh, everything started to evolve to like slightly cute so we wouldn't kill them that's it <laughs> like i'm gonna evolve think... just to be a little bit more cute so that human doesn't eat me yeah i mean it's innocent uh it's and yeah. also the wind has picked up and it's windy here now i told you man the wind's coming it might just be the santa anna's doing their thing i don't know it's got we got a high wind warning man Whoa, it's look happening at this... dude it's funny because the the picture that Elliot sent, it, it, he's making the same face he was making. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, see that's the, weird. You see the little wooden bear? Oh, in the background he went to there? a zoo. He went look to at this zoo. Elliot action figure I have. These are the. <laughs> aren't these the like? Uh, what are they? The sloth bears or something like that? They're are they sloth bear. bears? I think that's a wooden bear. Is it? I don't think that's a real bear. Am I wrong? Oh, yeah, it does look pretty wooden. Oh, Is wait, he's <laughs> attached to a movie. Sorry, Uh-oh. everybody, you're going to have to watch the... <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to watch the YouTube version. You're going to have to see this. Talking about. Oh, no, it's a I bear. Mean... It's a bear. He's at a zoo. Okay. Man, this is really bad footage. You can even barely, you barely see the bear. <laughs> I don't even think you need to bother watching the video version. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Because you're right. We have, because it is kind of the same question, right? About yeah, like, like cuteness. Cute? Like why are thing, why? So I, and I get, I don't feel like we got a good answer out of that. We did, did we it. get it? Okay. <laughs> so here's, it. I, maybe it was about phrasing it. And so I phrased it this way to chat GPT. Wow, what a gorgeous elephant. This is something kind of grim. You guys want something just really quickly kind of grim after you showed I mean, me that Halloween. elephant picture? Always. I, okay, so <laughs> th- we can move on from this real fast, but you reminded me showing me that picture of that elephant. My A friend of mine, we were like playing Fortnite yesterday. And a friend of mine said that they that like way back in like the 1800s or something, there was an elephant that like trampled a kid and to punish the elephant, they hung it. Yes, I remember this. And yeah, they hung it like like a human when a when a human really fucked up. Is I mean obviously it's fucked up 
but it's like you know this happened like four thousand years ago or whatever so it's like okay to be like we can observe the cruelty of humanity um from a distance and observe it as like well obviously that doesn't happen now right but the concept of hanging an elephant is so ludicrous and bonkers like how do you even begin it sounds make... like one of those like town hall SNL yeah, sketch yeah, meetings. Yeah. Where they're like, we gotta do something about this elephant. What are we gonna do? And then, <laughs> right. Rabble, 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 hand I... up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or the one person, I say we hang him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we can't hang an elephant. We don't got no rope that thick, you idiot. <laughs> and then they're like, next well, next suggestion. And someone's like, Well, what do we do when we want to kill people. What do we do when people kill people now? Well, we hang them. Well, then we got to buy it to hang that elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the way as I see it is that if we hangs people. Yeah. Who uses their brains. Yeah. To think. And I yeah. know an elephant don't think, but a yeah. human also doesn't forget things. And if we know one thing about an elephant, an elephant mm. never forgets. Elephant equals human. Let's hang the elephant. Hang, hang the him. elephant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh. with Chad GPT, I phrased the question. I think I, fa I, I, found a, a, I found a phrasing of this question that might give a pleasing answer. I love it. For once, a definitive pleasing answer. Fine. And the... The way I presented it to chat GPT is very simply as thus. Why are certain dangerous animals cute? Okay. And chat GPT says the concept of cuteness is often subject and can vary from person to person. Oh, sorry. Often subjective and can vary from person to person. However, there are certain features commonly associated with cuteness big eyes. that many big people eyes. find appealing. These features include big eyes, a rounded yeah. face, massive dong, small size, <laughs> and certain proportions that trigger nurturing instincts in humans. I thought of it's, this too, it's like a protective like you want to make oh, sure. Oh, I touch that. that baby. I want to touch that doll. Yeah. In the case yeah. of some dangerous animals appearing cute, this can be attributed to the presence of these endearing features. Here are a few reasons why this might be the case. Number one, evolutionary adaptations. Mm. Certain features associated with cuteness, such as large eyes and a rounded face, are traits often found in baby animals. Evolutionarily, these features may trigger a nurturing response in adults, promoting the care and protection of offspring. I don't want to eat that little thing. I want to love it. That's a cute. We got to protect it. Yep. Number two, misleading. But I'm hungry, but I'm not going to eat it. Number two is misleading appearances. In some cases, the appearance of cuteness in dangerous animals may be misleading. For example, some venomous or predatory animals may have evolved to mimic harmless or even Ooh. cute looking species as a form of camouflage or to lull potential prey into a false sense of security. Much like the baby snake, which mimics a human baby with its movement and also big fat face until it strikes right. you. That little baby snake looks like a little baby, human baby. I want to <laughs> human baby it. snake. <laughs> you know, it's interesting though. Why is that uh, baby living under a rock? I gotta go, cover, go touch that rock baby. <laughs> <laughs> rock baby. Uh, that's well, weird though. Oh, because I, that's I heard all... a thing that said cats. Cats make the reason why cats meow. Oh yeah, is because they're making they're mimicking the sound of babies. Babies, I don't know so if the, that's true though. And because they they evolutionarily observed that babies would cry and then get things. But it's interesting to me and that would be nurtured, nurtured and fed. And they were like, "If I cry, will I be fed like that baby?" All of these are based on humans not ki killing 
baby animals. But like, I don't think a lion would say that a baby animal I'm... is cute. And <laughs> right, like we don't know so what all... lions find cute. Yeah, yeah, it's all related to like. So they're they're trying to protect themselves just from humans. So and number three, media and pop culture influence. This is a big one, right? The yeah, portrayal of true. certain animals in media, cartoons, and popular culture can contribute to the perception of dangerous animals as cute. Anthropomorphism, the an attribution of human traits to animals, is often used in media to make characters more relatable and endearing. Bah! It says at the end, it's important to note that while an animal may appear cute, it doesn't necessarily reflect its behavior or level of danger. Many wild animals have natural behaviors and instincts that may pose risks to humans, regardless of their cute appearance, it's crucial to approach all wild animals with caution and respect their natural behaviors, even if they seem adorable. Okay, Ranger. Rick. Thanks. Just Chad let me GPT. hug the fucking wolf. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give that wolf a big smooch. I don't give a fuck what you say. Your signs can't tell me what to do. Uh, you're a computer and you can't love. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, what are your three animals? So I'm debating here. I definitely, you guys are going to hate it, but I have wanted a pet monkey since I was a little baby boy. Don't hate yeah. it. You got... <laughs> it's Wish... understandable. It's understandable. Wish I feel like I would uh, uh, risk the risk oh. of getting wow. my face beaten to have a pet monkey. I think I might go for one of the smaller ones, though. Not the one, but you know those little ones that are like, they had like the big smile all the time. Mm -hmm, those little mm -hmm. ones. Um, I think then, you need to listen to the 911 call. I've listened to it many times. You have listened to it? <laughs> yes. You've really listened to it, for real? The many whole thing? Times. The, the whole, whole thing? thing. Every from the scream woman who... from both the woman and the monkey. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. All right. So you have heard that then. Yes. And you still want one. And I saw Nope. And you still want that? You still want one after hearing that audio? That's what I'm saying. Because that is a would... horrifying. That's like one of the most horrifying things I think I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that and the Jonestown like audio. You ever heard that one? That I one's have heard that up. too. That, that one <laughs> makes my skin I'd say that crawl. one is scarier because it's more creepy and like eerie than just like horror. Yeah, it does have an eerier element to yeah. it. But does there's... it make it eerier if you imagine there are one or two monkeys there? <laughs> In oh. <Jones> Town? <laughs> <laughs> are they wearing suspenders? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, little, look at that guy. Look at that monkey <laughs> wearing little suspenders. Wait, what's he passing around on those trays? <laughs> look at that, so cute how he's just serving us the stuff. Look we better drink little it. Cups. He, this monkey's bringing me a little cup. I got it. Well, I got to drink that. I can't not drink it. The monkey brought me the cup. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Fine. Um, you still want one. That's fine. And you want to want one. You would risk that. Yeah. Okay. That's why it's number three, Steve. He's got two more. All right. Um, All right. And then I'm All debating. Right. I just want a classic farm animal, and I'm debating between a pig and Ooh. a horse. Ooh, okay. Pigs, okay. Pig's good. Pig's horse, good. I think I would choose, though, over because I would fucking love to just ride that horse around. Horses can't are ride so high maintenance, though. Those are that's high maintenance all right. animals. That's that's all right. But the, so all that's out say... the window. All the, all the high maintenance yeah, stuff is out the like, window in these hypotheticals? I think so. Um, but a pig also is super smart and can – cuddle and then they're you not want, necessarily stinky little, boys little teacup pig or a big pig i want to pick one that i can like fucking you wrap my arms pig. around yeah because well, you guys boy. aren't yeah because i used a very like i want an imaginary thing that doesn't exist but you guys are like we're we are picking real things that what was that, your imaginary thing the pygmy elephant oh okay but you were i assume that as like an elephant though i mean i i I think this so, needs to be real things. Yeah, exactly. I, I misunderstood the assignment a little bit. Because I was my... like, if I could have any animal. Steve's like, I want a hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> my number one is a red panda. Oh, that's panda. so, They're so cute. They're so, so cute. So cute. So oh, okay. So you know what monkey I would want? Remember that monkey? Oh, fuck. They're like the orange 
haired monkey. Those videos of them went viral of them like there was two of them next to each other. Fuck, I don't remember the name of them. They're, you're, are, you're talking about a smaller one, not an orangutan. They weren't which is that. Frightening. No, they weren't. They were tiny but, boys. Y- you know, I, I, I Joe, are you a little terrified of orangutan? Orangutan? Yeah, orangutans? Yeah, orangutans are scary, dude. <laughs> yeah. One hundred percent. They're so smart, though. They're like smarter than like chimpanzees. Yeah, they're still scary. They're still frightening. A gorilla is really just smart. Like their, but their look. My God, like God damn! Look at that thing. Oh, that's what you're <laughs> talking about. Face. That's an orangutan. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. I just looked up orange monkey. <laughs> those are <laughs> wonderful. I, I love those. Orang- orangutans have a face that is begging you to make fun of it. But you don't, because it's an orangutan, and it, it it's like I dare you to say something, and then it. Bah. But there's videos of them eating oranges, and they're really cute. <laughs> <laughs> they rip them up like we do. They open up the, Ooh, they peel here we it go. all out, and then yeah, they take care, and then they pull the little wedges and eat the little wedges. <laughs> they're like I just there's something more like elegant, and like careful about orangutan. I think. Well, they're slow. They're pretty Ch- slow. But chimpanzees are like, rip, just take a bite out of the orange. Well, or like, think, they'll rip the yeah. skin off the orange, but then they'll eat it. They won't pull the little wedges off, you know? Like, orangutans are, like, more deliberate, it feels like. And they're very, like, they're now, just they imagine slower. them doing that to, like, your extremities. It's like, I was going to say, it, like, your, let me pull your eyelid off. Like, pull your yeah. eyelid off, like, as easy as you can pull, like, a... <laughs> like, like, they would treat you like string cheese. Human yeah. string cheese. <laughs> Let me just have this nose right off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think? Oh there's, shit! I want to see videos of orangutans fighting. Orangutans. Oh, that's fighting. interesting. That'd be. I think intense. I, I I think you guys are saying it wrong. I don't think it's orangutan. I think it's orangutan. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just I don't, don't want you guys to sound like big fucking idiots after the show comes out. Do you out. realize what we've been talking about for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For but no, I, I, I just don't know. I, I'm unsure. Yeah, it's orangutan. Orangutan. Although, let me see if orangutan is a thing at all. No, it's this orangutan. Guy. That's the guy I want. Oh, is that like a <laughs> bonobo or something? Golden or like... snub nose. Oh wow. Like that imagine like, just that looks like with a ghost couch. <laughs> I love it. It looks like a monkey ghost. Look at the babies. Yeah. The babies are white. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. They do look the a guys. little creepy. Their noses are a little creepy, but I think they're, yeah. they're they are cute. They need some love though. Yeah, this is kind of scary. Didn't know that that existed. Whoa. Yeah, look <laughs> at those vampire. fangs. Vampire, it looks like a monkey. vampire, yeah. That's scary. Whoa, Never vampire mind. monkey. Has that ever been a, like a B-level horror Whoa, movie? Oh, that's Whoa. cool. Vampire, vampire gorilla. Oh, Jesus. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Look at that guy. Yeah, that, that guy. guy looks pretty chill. <laughs> there <Okay>. it is. <laughs> was that some ball gina? <laughs> uh, I, okay, can I throw in? Uh, so, like, pygmy elephant. I mean, honestly, elephant could be my th- number three. Sure, okay, like sure, just sure. elephant. Yeah, I, I think that's fine. I think it's right? a great choice. Like if I have the space and it maybe Dude, it's a sanctuary. Or those something. those videos of like, hey, I raised this elephant and then like gave it back to the wild ten years ago, and now I'm going to the herd and I just stand there and the elephant and just comes, runs up yeah, and so then hot. wraps its trunk around you mm-hmm. and loves you and like get, it's they know to be yeah. soft with us and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they know not to, like, it's crazy. I mean, obviously, there have been accidents, but most of the accidents have been, like, because humans are being irresponsible with the elephants. and Human's going to human. You know what I'm going to do it. Exactly. Uh, is this crazy? I, well, this isn't crazy, but a capybara. Yeah, oh, I thought yeah, of that, too. Yeah. I thought yeah. of that, too. Those guys like, are, like, chill. It looks like a pig fucked a horse. Or a deer, yeah. or like a hamster, but like also a pig, like, some, like a pig yeah. fucked a hamster, or and they made like a big or a beaver, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Beaver yeah. would be a cool one. Beavers are kind of like beavers. Don't feel like they would be affectionate. I beavers don't think feel like, so either. I feel like they seem beavers like they're always at work. That's what I'm saying. Like beavers and lizards, <laughs> and like 
There's just like they they <laughs> take were, a they, break, Beaver. That's exactly those, what would happen. But beavers always seem like they're like operating on a on a like a instinct right. a, automation. That's what I mean. <laughs> well, well, there's always going to be an Instagram account of somebody that has one of these things, and yeah. I have seen a Beaver Instagram account. And the thing, I can't remember how affectionate it was. It might have been slightly affectionate, but it was like taking its stuffed animal toys and building like dams constantly. Oh yeah, like, oh, <laughs> right, nice right. Yeah. Imagine uh, building uh, forts with a, a beaver. With a beaver? With kids, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I got my little beaver fort here. Beaver and know, otter beaver. are kind of the two in the otters same. Are otters are awesome. Otters are cool. Otters are great. I really do like otters. They sleep on their tummies and they hold hands while they – while They they make quite the sounds. Too. They don't float around. So they, they float around while they sleep, but they hold hands so they don't float away from each other. <laughs> is that true? Which is really cute. Yeah. That's amazing. Isn't that cute? And there's tons of cute pictures of them holding hands while they're like sleeping, and it's so cute. I love it. I love uh, it. Uh, and then yeah, raccoons. Raccoons is my number one. Having a raccoon would be so fucking cool. Obviously, you know, you you romanticize the idea of having a raccoon, but yeah, then you're the one that gets the super wild like nightmare one that trashes up the place and like burrows <laughs> the into the walls one. and shit. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. Um. Wow. We made a lot of content on that subject. Thanks, guys. We're just not, we just, we you know, animals. it's like, listen, cats and dogs are great and they'll always be there for us and there's Excuse an overabundance me. of them and we love them. But, you know, maybe it's time for, it's time for raccoons. It's time for the raccoon to be domesticated and brought into our homes and loved like a member of the family, like a dog and a cat. There's a, there's a legit part of me that feels I could probably teach a raccoon to do the dishes. <laughs> they yeah. do have little human hands. <laughs> yeah. at, 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 wash your hands first. <laughs> Dude, but, and I think about cats all the time as domesticated pets and think about how they are like alpha predators. They're like, they're like, uh, or apex I mean, predators dogs too. They're apex dogs predators, somewhere. but I don't think dogs are apex predators. I think some of them, right? Like think about, uh, dude, Elliot just posted an elephant that he also saw. Oh, in really? The, in the chat. Is this true? And then a bunch of cockroaches. All dogs oh, today God. are the descendants of the first domesticated gray wolf. Why since did he then. send that one? What did he send? Big old Madagascan hissing cockroaches, I believe. Uh oh. I Where can't did he go? To some zoo? He went to some zoo. There we go. I love some zoo. It's a great zoo. <laughs> <laughs> That's in San Diego. That's some zoo. Uh, in much of the world, dogs and humans share the top of the food chain as predators and are thus apex predators. Yeah. All right, but yeah. but cats are like. You yeah, have a hard time convincing me a pug is an apex predator. I, I know. <laughs> that's definitely. what I mean. That's why I said some. Or like <laughs> Chihuahua or something. Uh, Chihuahuas, like, I can see. Cats are like. I don't know. There's some. You, there's. There's, there's just some dogs. Cats, like Heather's cat is like a fucking lazy ass. Doesn't do anything. He's but it fat. still probably just... brings like a dead bug over as a gift or something from time to time. I think I cats know. are smart enough when, to know when they got it good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's true, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Try telling that to my girlfriend's cat that scratched me up so bad See, like a few weeks ago. Experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I like I like the Reddit threads of cats. Uh, there's a lot of I love cat type threads. Oh yeah. Um, or r slash subreddits. And one of my favorite is the this cat chose me. <laughs> like oh, oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. What do they call <laughs> it? The cat something. It's like a cat. It, it, <sighs> I forget. But it's the concept of when like a cat will just come yeah. up to you and choose you as its human and it's there's like really the nothing cat you can exchange do about it. system or something <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the cat it's like yeah the cat it's like all, they have a name for the system but you're right like the cat the cat choosing you is like a thing it's like a yeah. process it could like be just be a stray out. and it's just like you're my human now I right and and they like know to be like real cute to and like <laughs> to like so that they can like maybe have a warm place to stay or have some food that they don't have to hunt for or something. Mm -hmm. I, there's Dude, there's this crazy. The oh. Have you the seen what? attack eyes? 
Is that big fat, big fat eyes? Is it big fat? No, it's when like you know when I when their eyes dilate and it they go completely black. Yeah, and like there's videos of like when that moment happens because sometimes it's just when they're like holding up something. It's so crazy the change. Their eyes go and their whole body like tenses up and then they. I do know that their ears like go back. Yeah, and they they like go into like a like a fight mode or something. It's really Mm -hmm. cool. Uh, there's a very entertaining uh, TikTok account where they have GoPros on stray cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you can just watch what they do all day. And they, like, go to other cats and go, nah! Nah! <laughs> and then they run off and, like, find a bird and then, like, dig into its body and rip it apart <laughs> and then, like, put it in its mouth and run off and then, like, dump it in front of, like, someone's whatever and then run off and just jump yeah, up it's like really a interesting. roof. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like watching those. Those are really fun. Did you guys see that video that went viral recently of a cat that kept running up the stairs and trying to jump to a roof but then yes, kept, hit, and then kept, kept hitting the... <laughs> no, insane. I didn't see that. It's Dude, it's sad, but it's so funny. It's, it's so it, funny. It's complete insanity. <laughs> I, insanity. Will someone send that to me, please? Uh, I can look it up, Joe. <laughs> Give it a look-see. The other thing that I would like in a realm where I can actually have pets that aren't lizards because I'm in this apartment, um, I'm, like, jonesing for, like, real pet love, and we just can't have it right now. I know. To the point where I would almost risk, like, I'm like rent poor is what I call it, where I can't yeah. move anywhere because if I move anywhere in this area, the rent will jump one thousand plus. Like it just mm-hmm. there's no mm-hmm. so I'm just stuck here, but there's a no pet policy. So I want a cat and a dog at a young age and I wanna watch them become best friends. Yeah. And just love each other and always be yes. around each other and just be in a cuddle ball all the time. That's what I want. I need that. I need that. It's uh, you know, it's something that I also really love and want to Joe. And then you think about like all the things that have to come with that, the responsibilities and the medical bills and the food and all of that. And you're like, and you know, there's a balance. It starts to keep me wondering if it's worth it. And then I'm like, well, I just need to spend time with the friends that have animals and like get my fill of the animal love from my friends animals and then you know come back and then reevaluate like i remember i was like about a a year ago for a few years i had been thinking of getting a cat i remember this like i'd never had a cat i've had dogs i mean i had a cat when i was a teenager but it was like a very fleeting thing but i've had dogs and i've taken care of dogs and co-parented dogs but like cats is like it has eluded me like i haven't really had people who um who i could have like a lot of cat experiences with for some reason right um and but then my girlfriend got one and it's like a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> and now i don't want a cat anymore because <laughs> i could get the cat experience from that cat and it's just whatever i love that cat and she loves the cat and i you know i love it as much as you can love a thing that will not let you touch it <laughs> oh really you can't even pet him it's just like constantly ready to swipe at you and like Damn. bite you Damn. and uh and it's just the personality of that cat and you just have to like and you know a lot of people cat apologists even for those kind of cats will say listen just like certain people you don't just touch them and hug them and like you know give them affection if they don't want it that's how bunnies are yeah and you have to just you have to just accept that there's a thing that you are like you've rescued you're taking care of you're giving it a better life that may not want what you want to give it and you have to just respect that cats have boundaries yeah and it's like i don't think i want that yeah. <laughs> I, don't wanna... I want that cat to love me I or it goes to back me. to the shelter it's just one of those things, yeah, where it's like, if I'm going to give this cat, like, the best life it could possibly have, then the exchange is, is you have to love me, right? Like, you have to, <laughs> you have to love me. It's not really asking it's, much. It's it like, I'll give you everything you want. But but does the cat love your lady? Yeah, I mean. More than but, you? M- like, more than anybody else, but yeah. it still, like, swipes at her and bites her yeah. and, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, she's like, if you pick it up, you gotta go, like, you gotta do this, and you gotta pick it up like this, 
and make sure its face and claws are away from your face. <laughs> and then you go like, I love you. And then the second it gives you like a body language indication that it's over it, you just let you just put it down and that's it. Like, and that's the thing. It's like cats will give you this body language. You have to like learn their body language to the point where you will know if they're going to bite you or swipe you. You learn the, t- the like signs. Yeah. And then you like navigate your life around those like warnings, essentially. Bunnies and it's like, will... I, I don't want that. I don't want that. Is that okay to not want that? Yeah. Sure. I think it's okay to not want that. Yeah. It is. Bunnies uh, will literally kill themselves sometimes if you try and <laughs> break their boundaries. <laughs> like yeah. if you try and pick them up, there's a lot of stories of bunnies. <laughs> trying to escape and breaking their back because they're just trying to escape Jesus from your Christ. picking they're them like up. they're like this is <laughs> this is it this is where yep. i die and either i'm gonna escape or i'm gonna die, die elliot, is, elliot has remind i mean it's like one of those elliot facts that he has reminded us of like at least once every couple of years over the last 12 years of knowing elliot he's like bunny's got weak backs and they'll break yep. their backs by kicking <laughs> i do I remember the like, video the, there's a pug thing too like that where it's like pugs will they if they they can fall from like off of a couch and their eyeballs and will sh- pop out <laughs> God damn. like that's You're how wrong. like what yeah. a nightmare <laughs> yeah yeah you want to end this podcast on the video i sent it's uh, yeah what it, it. It, it, it's let's the cat see trying to get on okay the well, little oh. little warning to to anybody that's sensitive to to cat damage it doesn't I mean we don't know that it got hurt. We don't know, but this cat goes through some physical trauma <laughs> like like Charlie Chaplin style. That's all I can say. I think Steve's screening it. He wants to make sure. Well, what do you want me to you want me to point it at the I thought you were gonna pull it up, but I guess you can't. Oh, okay. I feel like you didn't you don't want Dude. you don't like that. That cat is on auto mode. It's crazy. You can just cut it into the video, <laughs> yeah, right? You can just I cut will. it into the video. Yeah, I will. I uh, uh so <laughs> did it make it? And it and it. Wow. It and it, what was trying. the springing up part? What's the springing? There's a up? wire. It's jumping. There's a wire in the way. wire. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. But it's the flips that happen at like he does like four <laughs> front flips. And at least it keeps. I see the wire now. I mean, it, you know, I think you're yeah. not even close to being halfway done. I don't think, Steve. I think the perseverance. It's admirable. Sh- shows that it's not like in pain or whatever. That's why. Yeah. I, think I mean, so. it's in, can... it's in straight up panic flight. Fight, if it was in pain, it would like probably stop trying to do this. <laughs> oh my god, the flip, dude. <laughs> Wow, is this a stupid cat? This is a stupid cat. I think it's a frightened cat. It's just like in it's panicking. It's trying to get away in the only way it knows how to get away. Is I don't method. know if this is a scared cat. Because if because scared cats like move that, way faster than that. Like this looks like, oh, let me try it again. This was fun more than anything. <laughs> I don't think that cat is having fun. It could be that he knows something is on the roof that he's just really wanting to get to. And he's not scared necessarily. He just is determined. <laughs> I love it. Someone, one of the comments says, "Why is he using double jump on the way down?" <laughs> that that video is insane. insane. Damn, this looks like you ever see dogs that like go down a slide and then like come on and like go again. Oh and my god! Yeah. And they go over and over again. That's, That's so like bad. what it kind of looked like to me is happening here, but in the real dumb way. There's no, I think, purer joy to watch than a dog doing something slightly human with joy. Like Dude, the running up boarding. Running up a hill like a snowy hill <laughs> just to lay on its like dumb, on its dumb bunny. Its <laughs> but then doing it over and over and over. Oh. Dude, the the skateboarding. The skateboarding yeah, that, that and dogs are like coordinated and like can making turns and shit. Yep. Yep. Fucking cool, man. All right. Well, Guys, an animal filled episode. Educational, I would episode. say. I would say it was yeah. educational. Disinformationational. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Which information? This one? This one or this one? This one. D- disinf- 
uh diz information guys thank you so much for listening uh give your love to elliot uh whose power went out due to this the santa ana wind it looks like there was more something else happened too he didn't look too hot oh is he he unwell maybe it is early maybe he's just as sleepy he said remember Mm. when he was like let's do it at 10 30 tomorrow oh that's still no still no wind sorry guys oh my well i hope it gets you and scares you as much as it scared me (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Hope you get scared later today. Fingers crossed, uh, but Thank you guys for listening. And, uh, you know, I love you boys. I love I love connecting with you guys and having conversations with you guys every week. It's very nice. And, God uh, bless it. Anything else you guys want to say? No. Merry Christmas. Goodbye.